a flashback from a short I got a long time ago. Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I'm here to talk to you about Lieutenant's Prize by Light Horse and Cannon. And for some of you, it'll look familiar because of this piece of art, if you've been around for a while. So I'll read the back, well, I'll read what I can from the synopsis page on Yaoi Revolutions, and we'll delve into this. Lieutenant's Prize. In 1781, French privateers were raking havoc on the shipping lanes between Ireland and England. In the King's Navy, fortune glory could be found aboard her frig uh, frigates. Ambitious Lieutenant um, Quentin Howell has just been assigned to the stag. Little does he know that the adventures that await him will be more than he has bargained for when he joins forces with 2nd Lieutenant James Hotspur. The two become fast shipmates and short-ordered sharing same berth, training, made shipmen for close quarters, actions and hardening gunnery crew from the heat of battle when the chase for the privateer Britain ends in a draw. Howell devises a plan to clandestinely board the damaged ship in a battle for the prize that can only be captured at sea. Now, this is a two story in one. Um, I reviewed the f other story, which is, I think, I think, I can't remember what it's called, but it was the first Yaoi I reviewed in this series, which was just a short. And this is just kind of, I remember immediately the things I talked about, how it was a very sketched kind of art style, how kind of juvenile it looked and how it looked a very traditional comic booky. y um, Well, now, that was just the precursor for this one coming out. It was kind of like a teaser, taster kind of thing. The title story, Lieutenant's Prize is still more of a traditional kind of comic book, American comic book style. And it is still very nice to look at. Let me fast forward through some of the dirty bits because it doesn't take long to get to them. And it's very pleasant. It's very pretty to look at it. It's enjoyable. It's just a very traditional comic book kind of Americanized style. So yes, that's there. Now let's talk about something else that I didn't realize would be a problem, but I do know Yaoi Revolutions is a smaller publishing company, so this is something I'm sure that happens. Now, there is a page that is adult-themed, but I will try to insert a picture over me while I talk about this, just of the non-adult part, um, to show you what had happened. Well, when someone formatted the page, half the text is not where it's supposed to be. It is literally right over the art, and since it's black and the pictures in it are kind of dark sometimes, you couldn't read the text, so you have no clue what they're saying. Um, you'll see an empty text bubble and then words above people, uh, like over people's faces, or things are just slightly skew enough to where it looked like somebody pressed tab and just messed up the entire formatting. I'd never run into that one of their uh, Yaois before. It's always been pristine and perfect. This one I did purchase at Yaoi um, Con, so it's just one of those things that I was like, what? And I was really shocked to see it, especially at such a pivotal scene. Um, let's see. No, I'm not even going to risk trying to fold it over to show you, but... It's just one of those things that you're really kind of shocked about that I can't believe they missed that as far as quality control goes. So that's a thing. Storyline-wise, I kind of found myself thinking it's romantic, it's sweet, it is very interesting, but having flashbacks to the original story that I read, and there was a good reason for that. Um, this is pretty much, if I'm interpreting it correctly, a revenge story, a revenge sex story. So he uses the new lieutenant who comes on board. The second lieutenant uses the new lieutenant as kind of like a revenge thing to start a love triangle between the captain and the second lieutenant and the first lieutenant. It's really odd. And they knew that by having the second lieutenant or the new lieutenant on board, you'd run into a way to solve a bigger problem. Plotline wise, I found it really kind of like meh. It was good. What saved this was the sex scenes, because those were really well depicted. But they got too hot, too heavy, too quickly. They felt very unmotivated. You meet somebody for the first time, and then all of a sudden you're eating their bun buns out. It's just really kind of odd. Hot, very well depicted, very interesting. I liked that. I learned a lot of terminology I never knew I needed to know. But it, it was just... Not here, not there for me. It was still good. I would still recommend you check it out. I do like Yaoi Revolution as far as the company goes. And their Yaois tend to be really stunning and really riveting. Um, so yeah, I did like this. I think I might be getting jaded with my Yaois. Because 
like I have the ones that are like pristine golden stars and I think I just need to have a refresher take like a break and not look at a yaoi for a little bit but we'll see what happens because I, I just can't stop reading them so yeah um, I would encourage you to check this out. I'll have a link to where you can buy it down below. No, I am not sponsored by them. Just getting that out there. I literally bought this with my own cash. So yes. Shoot me a like, a favorite, subscribe, share this with a friend who likes Yowie, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!